Hello guys, in today's video we are going to learn about the amming distance and the pattern matching problem, solved with Fisher and Patterson algorithm from 1974. The algorithm uses fast Fourier transform to solve the problem in O n log m time. But before getting into the action, let's match our expectations. I'm studying this topic by myself and my videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. Therefore, if you find any mistake in what I say, please let me know in the comment section below. Promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Also, please subscribe to my channel, tend to upload many videos on this topic. Given two strings of equal length, the amic distance is the number of positions in which the corresponding letters are not identical. For example, the amic distance for the strings rich and widths RICH and RITZ is 2. That is because the letters C and H are not identical to the letters T and Z. The pattern matching problem get a string of the size of n and a pattern of the size of m. The goal is to compute the amming distance for every offset in the text. A nice solution would require a runtime of O n multiplied by m time. We will check the amming distance for every offset. Each iteration would take us O m time, therefore, making m comparisons, and reviewing the entire text would take us O n iterations, so O, o n multiplied by m time. Considering our alphabet consists of only two letters, I will show the algorithm discovered by Fisher and Patterson that solves the problem in O n log m time. Let's jump right into it. Alrighty, amming distance, Fisher and Patterson, 1974. The pattern matching with amming distance is the following. We are getting a text and a pattern, and need to return for each offset the amming distance, number of mismatches. For example, the pattern is reads RITZ, and text is MIRITZ, which means A M I R I T Z. So, in the first iteration, we are putting the pattern, the reads, on the a M I R offset and we are getting that there are four mismatches therefore the amming distance for this offset is four second iteration we are now moving the entire pattern one slot to the right and and we are putting it next to M I R I and this time we have one match on the I so there are three mismatches and therefore the amming distance for this offset is three. Third iteration, the same thing, we are getting this time though four mismatches, therefore the amming distance for this offset is four. And finally, we are putting the RITZ pattern on the most right offset and we are getting a complete match. So there are zero mismatches and therefore the amming distance for this offset is zero and the strings match. Notice that on each iteration we had to compare all symbols of the pattern, m comparisons, so o m time, and we had to repeat the process n times, once for each offset on the text, so a total of o n iterations. We would now see Fisher and Patterson algorithm to compute the solution in o n multiplied by log m time iteration. Using polynomial multiplication with first Fourier transform, FFT. The algorithm works when the strings are on a binary alphabet or in general on any alphabet which consists of only two letters. But thanks to Hoffman code, anything can be coded binary. Let our text T be T equals A0, A1 all the way to AN minus one. And let our pattern be p equals b0, b1, all the way to b m minus 1. As you may already know, first Fourier transform helps us to perform polynomial multiplication in O n multiplied by log n time. Polynomial multiplication consists of many comparisons of coefficients, multiplications, and adding up the results. We will try thinking about the polynomial multiplication in a more simple way. We would consider the multiplication operation as a binary operation that gets two bits and returns a number. We would notice that 
Polynomial multiplication is a similar operation to multiplication between two numbers with multiple digits. The coefficients of the ith digit is suited to the coefficient of the x to the power of i in the polynomial. For example, 191 equals to 1 multiplied by x to the power of 2 plus 9 multiplied by x to the power of 1 plus 1 multiplied by x to the power of 0, when x equals 10. The main difference though between the two operations is that in a multiplication between numbers there is a base and when the coefficient of a digit is uh, larger than the base, it moves to the next digit of the base. For example, in 191, you could say that the coefficient of x to the power of 1 is 19, but since we work on a decimal base, which means base of 10, the coefficient 19 moves to the next digit, x to the power of 2. A multiplication between numbers can be computed using long multiplication. We would notice that the same representation would also work for polynomial multiplication. Obviously, FFT is not a long multiplication, but finally, the result of the multiplication would be identical regardless if done using long multiplication or using the sophisticated algorithm of FFT. We would look on long multiplication between numbers, or polynomial, that represent the text T and the potent P. We would multiply the text with a first order of P, so if P is 1011, we would reverse it to 1101. Say that the length of the text is 5, and the length of the pattern is m equals 3. We would look at the polynomials t0, t1, t2, t3, t4 in p2, p1, p0. We reverse the order of the pattern coefficient. We would multiply them. So. As you can see, we would notice that on each of the middle columns, the colorful columns, we would get the sum of multiplication of two parallel letters in the text and pattern when we place the pattern in different offset of the text. We want this value to be meaningful. We would ensure that the result of the add-up would be equivalent to the number of positions in which there is a match between the text and pattern. To achieve that, we want that the so-called multiplication between two bits would be equal to 1, t multiplied by p equal 1, if t equals p, and t multiplied by p would be equal to 0 if t is not equal to p. This operation can be represented using the following table. So as you can see, when t equals 0 and p equals 0, we are getting 1. And when t equals 1 and p equals 1 as well, we are also getting 1. Otherwise, we are getting 0. The problem with such an operation is that it is only supported by long multiplication, and we want to avoid it. So we can complete the calculation faster than O and multiply by M. We want to use the first for yet once form algorithm to make the computation in the runtime of O n multiplied by log n, m, but FFT only supports polynomial multiplication if the multiplication is a regular multiplication in the field of complex numbers, and not according to the operation we had just described. To overcome this challenge, we would divide the calculation to two separated calculations. We would notice that if two letters indeed match, they fulfill one of the following t equals p equals 1, or t equals p equals 0. We would count these scenarios separately. So to count the places in which t equals p equals 1, we would use the following operation. So we are getting 1 if and only if both t and p equal 1, otherwise we are getting 0. That's obviously the regular multiplication, so we can use the first for yet once form right away. For the scenario that t equals p equals 0, we want the following operation. So we want to get 1 if and only if both t and p equals 0. But that is not a valid multiplication operation. 
unlike the previous operation. Hence, we would convert any one character in both the pattern and text to a zero character and every zero to one. And we got the exact same operation of the first scenario. Using the two first Fourier transform operations described above and adding up their results, we would know how many matches we have between the pattern and the text. By deducting this result from the length of the pattern, we would get the number of mismatches, which is the hand distance between the text and pattern. And we successfully solved the pattern matching problem in ON multiple. Well, that's the story. I hope you learned something new from this video, and please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies, and this project comes to encourage that, even through complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Please subscribe to my channel and comment with your thoughts. I hope to see you soon. Good luck.